Hi everyone and welcome back to a new episode of the Spring Boot Angular course. In the previous episode we saw how we can create and serve an Angular application. Now we're going to take a little, you know, a sneak peek at how to add some dependencies to it. For example, I use Bootstrap, I also like Fontastam a lot. And when you want to add them to your project, especially if you're coming from a, you know, classic application development, you know, style, uh, things change a little bit here. So in order to add these dependencies, we need to use uh, npm and then we need to register those downloaded uh, CSS and JavaScript files in our angular.json file. So in today's episode, we're going to see how we can add dependencies, more specifically bootstrap and Fontasa. Now, before we get started, I want to remind you that you can subscribe to this channel to stay tuned for more software development courses that will sharpen your programming skills. Now, let's see how this works in practice. I just fired up IntelliJ and the new instance of the terminal. Okay, now, to install Bootstrap and Fontassum, we first need to grab them from npm. So, we need to npm install them. Bootstrap, Fontassum. Now, if we just install them, then those packages will be added in our local node modules folder. And we, we will be able to use them and everything is going to be okay until we commit to source control and uh, a colleague of ours will try to grab our sources because the node modules folder is not and should not be placed in source control. So if you want to make these dependencies visible and transparent for everybody, we also need to register them in the packages.json file. And to do that, we need to append dash dash save at the end of the npm install command. So npm install uh, the, the packages and dash dash save. We'll put the packages in the modules and we also reference them in the packages JSON file. Okay, so I'll hit enter and my dependencies should be, should start to update. Okay, so I have bootstrap 4.1.3 and Fontassum 4.7.0. Cool. Now, if you go to the package JSON file, and now we can see, we can search for bootstrap. Bootstrap is here, and Fontassum is also here. So now, if a developer gets our code from I don't know, GitHub or something like that, and he npm installs it, so he runs the npm install command here all of these packages will be installed and he will be also be able to use these dependencies. So very important, make sure that uh, all the dependencies that you add later are also registered in the package.json file. Okay, now we have them here. Let's see how we can make our application aware of them because now, for example, if we just uh, go, you know, and type ng-serve, uh, you see that the application looks exactly uh, the same. Okay, fired up our application. Just wait a couple of seconds. Okay, sorry. I'll just open this, go to localhost 4.0.0 and our application looks exactly the same. So uh, we've installed them, but they're not actually used by our app. Now, in order to make them you know, usable, in order to use them, we also need to register the specific CSS file. So the bootstrap CSS and the Fontassen CSS in our styles.css file. So let's see how we can do this. So the styles.css file is located here. So we have our application, the root, and we have a folder called src. We open it and now we have styles.css. Now we need to register bootstrap. So we say import and now we need to give a path to our CSS um, to our CSS um, file. So node actually it should have I should have IntelliSense actually. Okay, import 
node modules dash I think it's bootstrap dash dist dash CSS dash bootstrap mean dot CSS okay let's see if our application compiles correctly okay and now we can also add in the we can also add font awesome so node modules font awesome I think it's CSS font awesome dot CSS okay and now that we have registered the specific CSS files in the styles.css we can actually fire up Chrome go to localhost 4200 and voila uh, I'm guessing you can see these little differences here so the fonts look completely different so the fonts look different and this is clearly registered bootstrap so everything appears to be working now in this episode I hope you enjoyed it we learned how to add dependencies like bootstrap and font awesome to our project in the next episode we're going to take a look at the angular project structure because there are lots of files in here the structure is very you know opinionated and you need to understand it in order to navigate it more easily before we close i would like to remind you to subscribe to this channel and stay tuned for more software development tutorials that will sharpen your programming skills just go to the Romanian Coder YouTube page and click on the subscribe button. Also, if you found this video useful, please hit the like button and share it with your friends. If you have any comments, thoughts or ideas for new courses, just put them in the comment section at the end of this video because I would love to get feedback from you guys. You can also find me on Twitter at Romanian Coder and you can also check out my blog www.romaniancoder.com. Until next time, have a great day and write amazing code. Goodbye.